Oh, Peter, I can't do it. I can't do anything like. Step out. Last one of my favorite throws ever, one of the best in the game, the body fold takedown. It's the first throw that my wrestling teacher will teach you, so it's the next throw that I will teach you as well. Body fold takedown, let's do it. Body fold. Bam! And down he goes. So it's a very simple throw, that's probably why my wrestling coach likes to teach it to the beginners first. You don't even need to know how to fall and lay you down gently. So I just need one underhook, very common, one underhook. So I'm under one arm of his, that's why it's called an underhook, right? <laughs> that's an overhook, confuses many beginners, under, over. So now, and this side I got an overhook. I can do it with double under, but even over under is preferred. I step in, bring my face close to his chest, lock the hands, and now the folding starts. So my knee that is behind his leg pushes into his standing leg, the close one, and my hip is very close. I start bending him. And now when he starts losing balance, like now he lost his structure, bring the front leg to the back, still hold. And now I'm gonna launch a bit, bring the knee down, and then lay him gently on his side. When do the whole thing correct, that should mean I should be able to get him up again. So uh, utmost stability is necessary for that throw. So let's see that one again. We're just starting, we get a bit of a wrestling position. Please excuse him, he's actually a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here. And now, to enter to this side, I'm lifting the shoulder. I'm not using my delts, I'm pushing with my chest and my arm, pop, and I step in, boom. When stepping in, it's very important to keep upright position and stability. So one of the most common mistakes is to step around and now I'm being bent forward and when he's grabbing my head, he can bend me down and I would need to go to Tanya Toshi or whatever or uh, a lateral drop. So I need to be upright, whoop. If now he tries to grab my head and bend, he can't, because I'm too stable. <laughs> can't go over my head, I'll catch it. So, and I need to have contact from head to toe. So my head is here, I grab, I bring my chest close, my hip and my leg. As you see, you got almost no gaps here in control, whoop. And that now means I can push with my head over the top. I can grab my arm, push, lock with the knee, right? He's lost stability. Close the leg and step, whoop. Now from here, as to not fall on my own hands that are locked between, uh, behind his back, I rotate him a bit, uh, a bit on his right side, whoop like so rotate him on his shoulder my hands are not even touching and my weight now is towards his back if i lean forward too much he might be able to pull me over yeah this back again ah. so i lean towards his back and he shall not be able to pull me to his right side even if he tries yes no chance take my right arm out first i can grab the chin for added stability if i want to i'll just Rip out the other hand and maybe go for shoulder lock here. Wham! Okay, again. So I'm here. Boom! And down he goes. So, over under, very common position, very uncommon that he doesn't know how to put his head. <laughs> Stable. Whoop! Over under. Okay, push. Right foot, right arm, hop, boom, and lock. My leg that steps in, kind of steps around, right behind his heel. Common mistakes involve stepping in too much, which open up for an uchimara, or stepping too far back, I have no control over his leg, or not stepping in at all, I don't know why, 
So step right behind the heel. So my knee can now drive into his knee to control. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right side of my head on his left shoulder. Near side, bop. Here. If you are a lot taller than your opponent, that means you need to use your legs to go down, right? Many times I've heard a beginner like, oh, I'm too tall. <laughs> okay, just bend. If you are too short, place your head, head lower. Then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, you need to explain it, right? Otherwise people will be like, oh, Peter, I can't do it. Like, <laughs> just put your head here. Okay? Hop, and now lock. The arm wants to lock right above his elbow. Bam! And that jam it in. Boom, bam! So I clasp his arm to his body. And if I lock right above his elbow, it's near impossible for him to pull out the arm. And even if he does, I don't mind. I just keep the lock and keep going. Okay, but if possible, like this. And shovel grip behind his back. Okay, no finger interlock. Don't break your own fingers. No thumb breaking grip. You can do an Indian grip if you prefer. But shovel grip seems best. And pull behind his back. Lock. And I pull his hip towards my hip. Okay, bam, now I get very good control, drive the knee in, start bending, step out, and lay down, boom, good control, arm in, pressure back, control, control, keep going. Let's see this again, so we're here, we're cleansing right, Hop. boom, and down, so it just needs this, this short, boom. And in, and down, right, clinching, like ah, ah, oh, hoof. and my knee already blocked him from escaping, he's already done, and my weight is on his body now, I used to push a bit, and now I come down with my weight, step in, down. Right, so it's just throwing, stepping in and down. That's it. That's a body fall takedown. Probably the easiest to throw. It involves a couple steps, one after the other, but it's very, it's incredibly low risk. There's no commitment needed at all. You can switch to a myriad of other throws, which we will cover in other videos. And thanks a lot to Laszlo, and always think about, as Laszlo says, in wrestling, movement is always against each other. So that's it, that's the body fall takedown. I believe it's the most important throw in Greco-Roman. Just hide your leg, control a bit right in Greco-Roman. And it should be one of the number one throws that you should learn. Try it out for yourself. Thank Laszlo for teaching me, and see you next time.